goaded Halloween costume for this year, Ken Bone. Good, good choice. <laughs> just, just, dude, you know it would be great. So you show up in the fucking sweater with the 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 shirt on top and the mustache, and everyone goes, "Who the fuck are you?" And you go, "Oh wait, oh wait a second. Then you pull out some pregnant porn and just start beating it, and they're like, "Oh, Ken Bone." All right, that guy, Ken Bone. I remember. 2016 undecided voter, <laughs> Ken Bone. <laughs> Wait, was that, was, maybe that was 2012? Sorry, I don't know. No, that must have been 2016, right? It's, it's been a long decade or whatever. No, it was 2016. The idea of being an undecided voter in October 2016 is so fucking funny. The fact that there was, like, someone in the Venn diagram who's like, I don't know, they both make some pretty good points. He offers cameos now? I, I got nothing against it. I'm not rooting for the demise of Ken Bone or anything. It's just, it just reminds you the world is made up of all sorts of people. Whenever you're like, does this guy exist? Guy who's equally jazzed by both Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump and also loves pregnant pornography? Yeah, motherfucker, there's like 400 million people in America. There's probably like eight of those guys out there. What's crazy is you'll never meet that guy, probably, but every guy you meet is a different kind of guy. Because we're all so unique. No one you meet is normal. It's an aggregate of individuals that creates normalcy. Everybody's got their own like one in a billion sort of constellation of personality traits. That you would be like, huh, I wouldn't have expected that. And what's, I'm not aware of what mine are, honestly. But I'm sure I'm, I'm unique in my own ways. Bald Canadian streamer who will only put mustard on his sandwich if it comes in a squeeze bottle because I ain't got the time to get a knife dirty. And <laughs> I was going to say, and jerks off to pregnant porn. <laughs> I love you. The, the, end, the end state of the bit is every single one ends with jerks off to pregnant porn. <laughs> Guy who orders a California roll at the sushi restaurant. Guy, guy who gets a Coke Zero and then pours his own sugar into it and jerks off the pregnant porn. Why the Trump impression? That's not a Trump impression. Is it? Ghibli, Olivia Munn, pregnant pornography people. People are beating it to pregnant women in this country. Some people think it's based. Some people think it's sad. I don't know. <laughs> Just more goes into the bees at this point. It's not a good impression. Hear me out here. We need a Taft-style president again. Just a big guy. Like, that's... When I ask you, what, what do you know? Just kill me. When I ask you, what do you know about Richard Nixon? You're going to talk my ear off. I ask you, what do you know about Joe Biden? You're going to talk my ear off? I say, what do you know about Taft? First thing every motherfucker's gonna say is he's fat. We need a president like that. We need a, we need a, a caricature. Wait, no, hey, hang on one second. We need a simple guy, okay? We just need a simple guy. Just a guy with like a, a physical characteristic where you're like, that could give him a nickname. Yeah, or like a really, really tall president, like a seven foot tall president or something like that. Yeah, Wemby, exactly. Vote this Wemby. <laughs> We had too many, like, old guys in a row. We need... Get, get some new material, okay? What about, like, a... We haven't had a president who always wears a hat for a while, right? Like, president who wears baseball hat inside all the time? And then you're like, oh, he's probably ashamed of his hairline. But then he takes off his hat, and his hair looks fucking great. And you're like, what? And he's like, I don't know, man. I just like wearing a hat. We? Little bro, you're not on the team? I'll still vote, probably. You know, it's it's my right, right? I find a swing state, one that's I, one that's purple on the Nate Silver model. And then I just fucking take a bus down there and, <laughs> and cast my... <laughs> cast my ballot for my dude. Get a president who's wearing a hat at all times, even though his hairline is fantastic. Repeat that six or seven times, and then... 
I mean, that's pretty much my whole November right there. I mean, there's, we're still electing 21st century presidents. That's what I'm trying to or, Sorry, 20th century presidents. That's what I'm trying to say. Old guy, politician, businessman. Like, we should be moving beyond. We should be trying some, some 21st or even 22nd century presidents. I'm just spitballing here. We need a hat guy, that's a given. Certainly we need a vaping president, because vaping interests have not been represented well. YouTuber president, I don't want to be it for the record, but sure, I'd probably vote for any YouTuber. They got a pretty good track record. Cryptocurrency president, yeah. <laughs> Coco Melon president. iPad kid president, yeah, we're due, man. We're due. VTuber president, let's not go crazy. How about like a like an enlightened president? You know, I'm sick of this like they're like a bad guy when they're in office and then when they get out of office they're like, oh my fucking I gotta atone for my sins. You know, George W. Bush is like sorry for starting all those wars, I paint now. Bill Clinton's like sorry for starting all those wars, I'm a vegan. What about like a vegan like a president who is vegan? And then when they leave office they're like, life's too short. I'm getting back on the damn meat train. What wars did Clinton start? Fucking cola wars, bro. This run is not cooked. Okay, relax. Storage wars? No, I think that's from the Bush era. Yup! 